Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my cash envelope stuffing for the month of August. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Um, I do my cash envelope stuffings once a month out of my very first paycheck for the month. It just makes it easier on me, just a little. <laughs> I don't know if it's me being lazy or, or what it is, but I uh, enjoy just going to the bank just the one time and so the total that I withdrew today was five hundred and eighty seven dollars I am increasing my groceries um, to three seventy five if you've been around a while you know that in a five-week month I used to just give myself three twenty five but groceries have increased and it's a little bit difficult to um, make sure I get everything we need with 325 so I'm increasing it to 375 just to see how everything works out so I'm going to move this out of the way and count how much money I have so 50 100 150 200 250 300 20 40 60 80 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, and 87. One of those files felt like it was about to fall apart in my hand. Alright, so the first thing I want to stuff is going to be uh, my personal envelope and that's always at the back I am going to give myself a 50 in two twenties and one ten um, so far so good <laughs> the personal envelope has been the one that helps me reach my goal um, I'm not sure I need something I just can't put my finger on it right now um, and normally it always comes to me while I'm shopping so yeah, I got to figure that out. I don't even think I set my weekly goal. I'll do that in my budget planner setup. See how I remember stuff? <laughs> Household. Um, I need $50. 20 40 50 And I know I'm going to do some um, shopping from the money I set aside from my bonus for household and but this is for the little things that i can't find when i go to sam's um haven't been in sam's in probably almost two years or so um but i want to be able to go in and pick up a lot of the bulk stuff like my laundry detergent dry sheets um the little beads that i put into the laundry i think they're fabric softener y'all correct me because y'all know <laughs> i rarely ever know the correct term for stuff uh but you know cleaner cleaning supplies and stuff like that um i want to get all of that with that money and that is a lot of stuff um luckily i'm not fully out on everything i think except for detergent i think detergent's the only thing but i am running low on a lot of stuff and so just giving myself fifty dollars is not enough to replace everything that i've had throughout the years now the next thing is going to be laundry um, I give myself $45 for laundry so I'm going to give myself um, two 20s and a five I had to make sure I check my my list I've kind of enjoyed being able to have the five dollars in laundry where I could just pull out two fives for Miss Ann and get a roll of quarters um, I had ten dollars left over so I'm going to start laundry with $55. But the way I do it, because um, it's 52 weeks in a year, I always give myself $45. And it typically takes me about $10 a week. There is like this huge um, washer that I get. It's about $4.50 to use it. Um, but it's the one because we are mostly dark colored clothes wearers around here. I can just put up 
like almost everything in there. It's rare that I can't fit everything in there. Well, I guess unless I have the comforters and all that stuff with me, which I do those two and I swap out. I rotate everybody which week, you know, I'm taking everybody's stuff in so I don't get overwhelmed with everything all at once. I hope that makes sense um, because, yeah, one of my sons put a weighted blanket in there and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I was like, no more. Don't do that again. But, you know, um, a washing machine is probably one of the first things. Washing dryers, one of the first things I'll probably be getting for myself. As well as saving for a mini weekend getaway, spa weekend. Um, I also need to start saving up for my emergency fund. It's a matter of trying to figure out who's going first. Um, I know the emergency fund is going to take me a few months to get built up. And I know I need about 20, 20,000 to cover six months. And I also want to have um, one month ahead in my checking account as well as these six months. Because I feel like that will keep me from touching the emergency fund. So I hope that all makes sense to you guys. Um, I'm trying to put in, put in as many safeguards as I can. Um, so I don't touch the emergency fund because you know, stuff happens all the time. Um, for the restaurants, I am putting aside 15, no 15, $17 for that. And that's just to top it off and get it back to $20. Um, I don't go to the restaurants as, you know, a habit for myself. I swapped out those ones and now I feel so much better. Uh, so I have 40, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. 38 39 40 so I have $40 there and this is mainly for like team building events and stuff like that so far so good the only um, group that has been getting together at my job has been the project managers and you guys know I recently had a job role change so I am getting used to how do I say it socializing <laughs> um, that's for what over a year YouTube has been my source of socializing. Now, the last thing that I have is my groceries, which should be three seventy-five. So let us see: fifty, one hundred, one fifty, two hundred, two fifty. And here's where it gets fun: two seventy, two ninety, three ten, three thirty, three fifty, three seventy. And 375 so woo I can't count um, ooh, counting 50s is a booger bear <laughs> it is not fun um, but yeah so this will represent my week one um, I was asked do I meal plan and how do I stick with this sometimes I don't stick with this okay so I want to be fully transparent sometimes I have a hard time sticking to this and so what I do is I offset it um, another week so if I know that like there's a good sale um, there's meats and stuff on sale I may pick up everything I need overrun my budget for week one or week two and then week three and week four I don't need as much because I already have everything that I need um, and I check my pantry first see what's there see what's in my freezer see what's in my refrigerator what needs to be cooked quickly you know all the things and then I create my grocery list from that. Um, I try to reduce as much waste as possible. Um, I, my sons are the biggest eaters. I know I might be the biggest person, <laughs> but my sons are actually the biggest eaters here. And so I try to cook according to what they like because it actually reduces waste. Now, what am I gonna do when I'm no longer living with them? that's going to be interesting that is going to be interesting but you know it is what it is kids grow up and it's time for mom to move on but um yeah so i'm going to take four suggestion i'm going to paper clip <laughs> i'm going to paper clip the rest of my money and so week one we're going to go out with 75 bucks and see what we got um but yeah thank y'all so much for watching we are done i feel like a whole rich woman you know i got uh all my envelopes are stacked and nice and fluffy 
So, I am so, so happy. And why did I try to, you see that? I tried to do that. That don't work. <laughs> but anyway, but thank y'all so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. I will be closing out my July budget. Um, I believe it's Tuesday. Yeah, I believe Tuesday. I'm going to be closing out my July budget. Um, paid my utilities. Small savings there. But we're going to reconcile everything and make a very, 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 very tiny payment um, on my student loans. Um, and if you don't understand how I do that, I take um, savings from the cash envelopes. Go to help pay on debt. Savings from my utilities go to pay on um, debt. So that's a part of my little system I have for myself. So we'll be taking care of that on Tuesday. You guys have a super fantastic Sunday. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.